Hello guys, Rob here, Raising Reef. Today's little project is my Hydra 26 HD. It needs a new set of lenses, because the old lenses seem to have a couple of um, LED points that have burnt or melted and they've gone a bit brown. So um, I managed to get hold of a new set of lenses and we're gonna see how easy it is to just pop those into the unit. And hopefully that will make it just like brand new. So the first thing I need to do is remove the light from the flex arm. Uh, so I'll unplug it. There we go. And I just have to remove the little plastic guard that goes over the fan. And then it's just a case of sliding it out. There we go. That's all free. And we can work on that over on the table. So if we take a little look at the unit, we'll be able to see that this one is really burnt, just like this one, and that one's even burnt through and it's made a little raised bump where the plastic has bubbled up. These ones are slightly burnt here and here, and it's the same on the other side. So the intensity that these particular LED um, channels were set at is obviously over time enough to burn those little uh, bits. And obviously that, and that is not going to be performing as it would when it was new and that has stopped the light from some of it penetrating and also the distribution of that light is not going to be so great. When you look at the tank when it's on you wouldn't even really notice but you are losing some of the spectrum uh, with these that are damaged. So we're going to swap those over and as far as I'm aware it's as simple as just undoing these four screws, taking the top off these probably just seat in position and then I can screw it back on again. But we'll see how that goes. Um, these little fixings are star bits by the looks of it. And looking at them just by eye, they look like um, that one's probably the right size. So it's a T15 size star bit. And that should just unscrew. Like that. You have to be careful if you look at the end here you see there's a couple of little holes where the LEDs po poke through uh, the, the light indicators on the unit and they're just poking out here and here um, and we just have to make sure that when we lift it we pull it towards ourselves and that won't snap those little LEDs off because we don't want to do that do we? Right so these should just lift out. There we go. Uh, right, and if we look at the actual LED puck there, it does look like it may have burned a little bit. Yeah, the top of the actual LED seems to have a little bit of uh, like gone a bit crusty, where the rest of them are all nice and clear. The three that are have caused a little bit of burning in there seem to be slightly damaged but we will replace them with the new LEDs and we will bear in mind that the spectrum may not be what it once was when it was new these don't really have an up or a down or a left or a right they only fit in one orientation or the other so we can just pop those in there and seal up the unit so if we can locate those little LEDs on there and just let it drop down. We should be able to just pop those screws back in. And tighten them up. And that is as easy as it is to change those lenses. If you look at the bottom of that, 
If you have a little look at the bottom of that one, you can see that there's some severe burning gone on in there, and the same with the other one. So, we'll put it back on and see what it looks like. So, it may be a little bit hard for you to appreciate on screen now, but it looks like all of the LEDs are actually still working, although some of them look like they've got a little bit of damage to them over time. Uh, but with the new lenses on, hopefully more of that light will be focused down into the tank and it will give us a better even a spectrum for the light in the cobbles. Well that was relatively painless. The light is back on the tank and it's all running. All of the LEDs are lighting up. Um, the ones that had caused them burn marks do look a little bit worse for wear. When I took the lenses off you could see that they'd um, degraded somewhat, uh, especially one that had caused the really dark patch and who knows whether that's producing the same sort of light it was originally, probably not. But I do have a power meter attached to a Senai that I may put on the tank and that shows you, shows you a wave of um, light spectrum and that might be interesting to do to see how it's compared to how it should be working and how it's working now. It's been running the same light schedule for about three years since I put it on the system and I've had good coral growth although I do tend to get quite a dusting of um, algae start to grow quite quickly on the glass. Now this isn't that surprising, this is only 500 wide and therefore a lot of the light does hit the sides of the tank and obviously when you clean it you create a really um, sterile or clean environment for algae to start forming on. But I don't mind cleaning the tank uh, every day to make sure that the glass is clear. This gives me an opportunity to check inside the tank and interact with the tank and see um, the health of the corals and how they're all getting on and it helps me to notice any changes if I'm forced to do that on a daily basis. I'll put my uh, lighting schedule up on the screen here and you'll be able to see what lighting schedule that I've been running on here and the intensities of the LED unit and each individual colour. Um, feel free to replicate that if you feel like you're looking for a lighting spectrum. I find that it works really well for me and I get good colour and good growth out of my corals. So that's about all I've got for you this time. Uh, thanks for joining me today for this video. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Take it easy guys, stay safe and I will see you next time.